key to creating a great lawn is preparing the ground really well and investing in a good quality turf. And we're happy to help calculate your requirements and organise your delivery for you. It's really important that turf is laid as soon as it's delivered. So it's as well to prepare the ground before ordering your turf. The first job is to take away any existing vegetation. Using a turf cutting machine from your local hire shop or a good quality garden spade, take off any old grass and weeds and make sure that roots are removed. If you have time, vegetation can be sprayed off using a systemic weed killer. Leave at least three weeks between spraying and preparing the soil for turfing. The next job is to get the ground ready for all those plant roots to settle into. First, remove any big stones or builder's rubble. If the topsoil on site is poor quality or there's not enough of it, it's a good idea to buy in some good quality topsoil. Rotivate or dig the soil to a depth of at least 15 centimetres. Then rake it over, aim to get a nice fine tilth and a level surface. This is called the gardener's shuffle. What he's doing is firming the soil so that the new lawn won't settle down into hills and hollows when it's used. After shuffling, give the soil another rake over and check the levels before starting to lay your turf. The last thing you want to do is mess up your nicely levelled soil, so always work from a turfing board. Always avoid having small pieces of turf at the edge of a lawn. They're very vulnerable to drying out. So first of all, lay turfs all around the edge of your lawn, using a turfing knife to trim them to size if you need to. If you don't have a straight edge, you can use your turfing boards as a guide. Next, start filling in the middle, working backwards to avoid stepping on the newly laid turf. Lay the turfs in a brickwork fashion, butting the edges up nice and tight together and using a turfing knife or a turfing iron to cut them to size. When the whole area is covered, give the grass a really good watering. To make sure enough water has been applied, lift up the corner of a turf and ensure the ground underneath is good and wet. You'll need to water every day until the turf has established. Remember though not to waste water. Use a watering can or a hose pipe, not a sprinkler, and water in the evening or the early morning to avoid evaporation. For help and advice, please visit our website or call our team.